With Canva Translate, you can instantly translate any of the text in your designs into multiple languages. Having the ability to automatically translate your design text will allow you to scale faster with an international reach. Over 100 languages are available, so you can create designs that can be read and understood worldwide. Simply add text to your design, and you can use Translate to convert it to any available language with just a few clicks. So let's head over to Canva and go over how to convert text to other languages using Translate. So the first thing we'll need to do is open up a Canva project. You can open any project that you like, but for this example, let's open up a new project by going up to the Create a Design button. And from the drop down menu, let's select to create a square Instagram post. This should open up the Canva editor. So let's say I want to create a post to promote my new Quantum Designs apparel, and I want to run the ad in several different countries. The first thing I'll need to do, of course, is create my ad. For this example, I'm simply going to use one of the Canva templates and add my own text and graphics. So here's my new ad for my English speaking audience, but I want to promote my apparel to people that speak other languages as well. To instantly convert my design text to other languages, I'll need to access Canva Translate. To access Translate, let's look at the menu on the left hand side and scroll down to the Translate tab. This should open up the Translate menu where you can view various options and settings. So the first option we have here is to select the language that we're translating from. We could use the drop down menu to select the language manually or let Canva automatically detect it. Next, we can select the language that we're translating to. For this example, let's translate my text to Spanish. And finally, we can select the pages where we want to apply the translations. For this project, I currently only have one page, so let's select page one. When using Translate, keep in mind that you have a limited amount of uses. It looks like I have 500 uses and it resets next month. So now that I've selected the language I'm translating from, the language I'm translating to, and the pages to apply the translations to, let's click the Translate button. Translate should then start working its magic. And voila! All of my text has been translated into Spanish. I don't speak Spanish, but it looks like it worked pretty well. Keep in mind that after translating text, some of the sentences might be shorter or longer, so you might have to make some size adjustments. From the translate menu, you should see another tab up top that says settings. Let's click that now. Here you'll find two different options that you can select to enable. The first option is reduce font size to fit, which will automatically resize fonts when the translation doesn't fit your design. And the second option is to duplicate page when translating, which will keep your original design and create a new page with the translation. Since I had this selected when I translated my design, a new page was created, so I now have both my Spanish design and my original English design. In my opinion, I think you should create new pages for all of your translations in case you need to make any changes. For instance, when creating my Spanish ad, I may decide to add other graphics or alter the text a bit. As you can see, everything is lined up pretty well with my English version, but if we scroll down to the Spanish translation, we can see that some words may be a bit longer and may need to be resized or rearranged. So let's go over one more example of translating my design using Canva Translate. From the Translate tab, I'm going to have it automatically detect the language that I'm translating from. And from the Translate To drop down menu, let's select Japanese. I'll be applying this to page one, which is my English version. So let's go down and click the Translate button. Canva will then start translating my design. And there we have it. Here's the new version of my design in the Japanese language. Go ahead and rearrange and resize your text if needed. So for my Quantum Designs apparel ad, I now have a Japanese version, a Spanish version, and an English version. I can now download all three of my new designs and use them to run ads in multiple countries. This can be a great way to scale your business and reach new people around the world. So that's a quick overview of how to use the new Canva Translate tool. If you're ready to go pro and unlock all of Canva's templates, images, and other tools and features, Make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. If you enjoyed the video, 
make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.